Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today, we're going to be covering Nintendo 64. In this video, we're going to be using Project 64 2.3.2. Now, in my opinion, this runs so much better than Moopin. Some people love Moopin, but I have nothing but trouble with it, even on my high-end gaming machine. The main question I get on my own channel when I get a new box to review, a new arm board to review, is does Nintendo 64 run well? A lot of the times, the answer is no. But if you have a Windows machine, Project 64 runs pretty good on a lot of different hardware. This is fairly simple to set up, so let's get started. First thing you're gonna need are some Nintendo 64 games. I have mine in a folder called Nintendo 64 on my desktop. I've extracted all of my ROMs and they are .n64. So this is what I use here. Now I wanna place these in my LaunchBox directory. So I'm gonna navigate there. It'll be under C drive, users, your name. Mine's ETA Prime, LaunchBox, games, and I'm going to place my Nintendo 64 games right here. We'll close that down. It's time to start LaunchBox. Now it's time to download the Project 64 emulator. We're going to be installing this in portable mode, so it will be portable with your full LaunchBox build. If you want to use this on another PC, if you have an external hard drive or something like that, it will work. We're going to go to Tools, Manage Emulators, we're going to add an emulator. One of my favorite things about LaunchBox is this drop down menu right here. We're going to find Project 64. So we're going to be using this one, the Project 64. This is 2.3.2 as of making this video. It could increase in the future. We're going to click on this. Now right here, we can click here to download Project 64. It's going to take us to the web page. We want the Windows version. It's going to start downloading. It's only 2.3 megabytes. Now we need to install it. We're going to be installing it in portable mode. So we're going to open up the setup, click run, next. And I'm going to navigate or browse to my LaunchBox directory. So my LaunchBox directory is under users, ETA Prime, LaunchBox, emulators. That's where I want to put it. Click OK and Next. Portable mode. I do not want a desktop icon. I don't need it right now. Next. So we just installed Project 64 inside of our LaunchBox directory to keep it portable. Now we need to launch Project 64 to set up our controller. Click Finish. Choose your language. I'm going to choose English. Click OK. There's a few options we need to change inside of here. I'm just going to close this browser down. We're going to go to Options, Settings, and I want to enter full screen mode when loading a ROM. Make sure that's checked. Click Apply, OK. Now we need to set our controller up. Go to Options, Configure Controller Plugin. I'm using a wired Xbox One controller. Our digital pad, which will be our D-pad. Up, left, right, down. Just follow the instructions on screen. It's very easy to set this up. Save when you're done setting up. Now there's some more options in here. Configure graphics plugin. So I have a GTX 1060. This will name your graphics card here. I usually leave everything stock here. I'm gonna turn my full screen resolution up to 1080p because I'm gonna need it to record this screen. Click apply, okay. We can now close Project 64. We now need to choose the emulator application path. So we're gonna to browse to our LaunchBox directory where we installed it. So I'll go to LaunchBox, Emulators, Project 64, and we need to choose the .exe. Associated platforms, Nintendo 64. We don't need a default command line parameter. It should launch in full screen now that we chose the option inside of the emulator itself. Click OK and close. Now it's time to add our games. Tools. Import. ROM files. This is the import wizard. Click next. Read through all of these so you understand why you're clicking the next button. 
I'm gonna add a folder and that's gonna be my full Nintendo 64 folder inside of my launch box games Nintendo 64 launch box will scan this folder and find all of the games inside of it for us automatically click OK and next what platform are you importing games for if it's not chosen click the drop down menu choose Nintendo 64 next choose an emulator we should have project 64 chosen here if not you can drop down and choose it next I'm gonna use the files in their current location because I placed them in my launch box directory search for game information from the launch box games database this is recommended and this is usually what I choose next would you like to download images for your games yes we would I'm just gonna leave everything checked in here and click next if this is your first time importing ROMs or games into LaunchBox, you might be prompted to sign into EMU Movies. You don't have to. It's free to use, but they also have a donation option, which allows you to download more artwork, music, and box art per day. It's definitely worth it. Click Next. Would you like to specify any custom options? Not for Project 64, so we'll just click Next. Here's the game name we're importing the file location, and the extension, minor dot N64. Click Finish. LaunchBox will now download all of our box art and metadata. This could take some time depending on how many games you're importing. I'm only importing a few, so it shouldn't take too long. My 19 games were imported successfully. I'm gonna click OK. Over on the left-hand column, we should now see a Nintendo 64 option. We should have some nice box art here. So now that we have our games imported, it's time to start a game and see how it performs for you. Now this really depends on your hardware, but I've had really good luck on older, low-end hardware running Project 64. Even on my gaming machine, I have trouble running Moopin, but this works so much better. That's why I chose this tutorial today. Let's start GoldenEye 007. I'm going to skip over the intro and turn the music off. Just double click. If you have everything set up correctly, it should go full screen for us. So here we are playing GoldenEye 007 using Project 64. It runs so much better than Moopin. And I know some people are going to have better luck running Moopin on their machines, but I've never really had good luck using it on a Windows based machine. Some ARM chips run it much better than others, but x86 for me hasn't had the performance I want. This is very smooth. We'll just press escape on our keyboard, or if you have the paid version of LaunchBox, you've probably set up controller automation and you can use your hotkeys to exit. So that's it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Now you will run into some games that won't work on this, just like you run into games that don't work on Moopin. But in my opinion, this is the best option right now for x86 platforms. If you guys could, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the LaunchBox channel because we have more great content on the way. And like always, thanks for watching.